Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be doing a book tag video created by my booktube bestie Marina at Read With Marina Ray. Ooh, pizza's here! This tag is extremely, extremely creative and I am so excited to do it. This is the Create a Town book tag. So I have all of my books behind me that I've picked out for this tag. So the first thing, question, thing, whatever. The first business of this tag is pick a town name using five different words from five books on your shelf. I picked these. So I have Phantom Crossroads of Winter Song Forest. You can't really, you can't really see the, the word for Yeah. Okay. So Phantom Crossroads. Wait, this isn't, this isn't. This isn't working. Phantom Crossroads of Winter Song Forest. It's really hard to hold that up. Oh! And there went a book. Now we have, let's see, create a family using book characters. So, let's see. So for the mom, I picked Molly Weasley from Harry Potter because she is like the ultimate mom. For the dad, I picked Geralt from The Witcher Universe because who doesn't need a witcher as a dad? For my brother, I picked Hal Jenkins Pendragon, whatever the alias, from A House Moving Castle as my brother, because he's a magician and he can like give me things or something, I don't know. And then for my sister, I picked Delilah Bard from A Gathering of Shadows, even though she's in the whole trilogy and she's just on the cover of this one, so. Delilah's a badass and I wanna be her. Let's see. Choose a bookish universe to use as your town's setting. And I choose Fairy from The Cruel Prince because fairies. It just seems very like whimsical and but also dark and kind of cool and stuff, but I probably wouldn't want to be there if I was a human. I'd have to be a fairy too. Next is pick a town mayor. For this one, I'm going to pick Sierra or Ciara. Sierra, Sarah, Sierra. Oh wait. There's a thing in the back. Her name's Kira. Okay, so the mayor of my town would be Kira from Beyond the Dark and Shore because she conquers like a bunch of towns and providences, places, and she is awesome. And she has cool abilities and yeah. Then we have pick a town sheriff. I'm going to go with Sheriff Kel, also from the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. This is not the one that has Kel in the front. Kel. Because Kel would be a great sheriff. He's kind of like just awesome. And yeah, he could just push, push somebody into submission. Push. But he would. I don't know. He's cool. I don't know. I like Next! Pick a high school principal. Okay, so this one's cheating a little bit. But I'm gonna pick Lemony Snicket, who is technically the like narrator of the series of unfortunate events but also the author because if you've read the books or watched the movies like he'll randomly stop and like define words so I think he'd be a good principal yeah next we have choose someone to run the local bar and I'm gonna have to where did it go I'm gonna have to go with Severus Snake because he's like the master of potions Next, um, pick a town doctor. I'm actually gonna go with THE doctor. This is Ten Little Aliens and it's Doctor Who series number one. I'm just gonna pick THE doctor as the doctor because that's the only way I can weasel him in to the universe. So yeah. Next, choose a town rebel. And I'm gonna pick Desire from the Sand- It's really hard to hold up a graphic now. I am gonna pick Desire from the Sandman series. I don't know. Desire seems very like morally gray and kind of just does what they want. I just really like Desire because they're they kind they're just cool. I don't know. They're not like outright bad, but they're kind of evil, but also not. Desire kind of just does whatever they desire, and I think that's what a true rebel. I don't, you know, they're not a villain. They're just a rebel, so they can kind of do what they want. What are you barking at? My dog just barked at her food for some reason. You good? Now, pick a town villain. I'm going to pick Rain or Darth Xana from Xana, 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 from the Star Wars 
trilogy, um, the Star Wars Darth Bane trilogy, because I love her, and she's badass. She's kind of like if Wanda Maximoff was in the Star Wars universe and was bad. Yeah. And also, the Darth Bane trilogy helped me get it back into reading after I'd stopped for, like, a long time, so I appreciate it. Um, next is Choose the Town's Rising Star. And we're gonna go with Dandelion from the Witcher universe because he is, like, the best bard and he's sassy and I love him. And last question is too much pizza. Need a Tums. The last question is choose two bookish landmarks. And I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Biltmore House because it's actually a landmark that exists and it's really close to my home and I got engaged there so it's really important to me so I would like to have it in my little universe. And then next is gonna be Hogwarts because wizarding school Wizards can come in handy, man. Handyman. The handyman can. The handyman makes everything he makes. Okay, and to top this video off, to end this beautiful video, I'm going to be doing a featured booktuber. And this is the first video that I'm going to be doing my featured booktuber at the end of, but I am going to start doing this. Me and my bestie Marina Ray were talking about this on the Twitter, the Twitterverse, and we talked about how we both wanted to do more shout outs, but we don't want to like flood people with shout outs. So we thought that, you know, one way to do that would be doing just a featured booktuber at the end of every video. So we both kind of decided to do it, and here it goes. So my featured booktuber for this video is the queen herself, Marina Ray, because one, she created this awesome tag, two, she's my booktube bestie, three, she is such a positive, positive person in the booktube community, she has the most glowing personality, she is unashamed of who she is, she is such just an awesome, awesome, beautiful woman, and I love her so much, and not to mention, she is homeschooling four little children right now, like, that's a lot, that's a lot, and she's just being a badass, you know. Plus, she has blue hair, and blue hair is cool. Um, as for her content, it is always so positive, so uplifting, and so down to earth. Some, sometimes I get kind of blah, bogged down with like reviews, and like she does reviews as well. And Marina is so down to earth. When she does reviews, she really focuses on what matters in books from like a perspective of someone who just wants to read for fun. Not everybody wants to read to study everything. Sometimes people just want to read to enjoy themselves, and she really grasps that. And so I really, really think that you should go check her out if you haven't already, but I'm sure you've heard of her because she is a goddess. And anyway, that is all I have for this video today. If you'd like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a fight I feel my eyelids closing under the